Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Mix here. Uh, I'm just coming at you guys today with a short video. I know I've never really done one of these before, but I feel like I'm going to start doing them more often. And uh, basically, I'm just going to uh, be showing you guys today how to convert your sensitivity from any game perfectly to another game. So let's say you you have Fortnite and your sensitivity is like 12.6. Then I'm going to show you guys a website that perfectly converts it to any other website. Or wait, uh, any other game, sorry. <laughs> So basically, you can perfectly convert your Fortnite sensitivity to your Valorant sensitivity and vice versa. And it works for pretty much any game. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So basically, guys, the first thing you're going to do is pull up to Google or whatever whatever search thing you use and just uh, type in sensitivity converter. And then for me, since it's like uh, I've searched it up quite a lot and I've gone to this website, it comes up right here. But uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description. And then basically... You can scroll through this list and you choose any game like it basically has literally every game you could ever want to like uh, switch sensitivities from so you just choose your game for me I'm gonna choose Valorant and then it already has my in game sense because I play on one and you select what game you want to convert from and then convert to so I'm just gonna do Fortnite and then in case you're interested in like any of this stuff uh, you type in your DPA right there so uh, basically uh, my in game sense for Valorant is one and that converts to about 12.6 on Fortnite. Because there's no, like, you can't have uh, this part in Fortnite, at least for me. So I just put 12.6, which is what I play on. And it's literally just the exact same. And you can you can pretty well see if I switch it and I put where's Fortnite? Fortnite right here. And I put 12.6. And I put this on Valorant. I keep scrolling down. It's about, it's literally, it's about 1. So, like, you can see it's it's correct. And then... In case you guys don't know what this is, uh, centimeters per 360 turn is like the universal way of determining everybody's sensitivity. So like, let's say you're playing with a, uh, like a professional aim coach or whatever, like aimer seven, if you guys have ever heard of him. Uh, if he asks you what sensitivity you're playing on, he's usually not going to be like, oh, what's your Fortnite sensitivity? He's going to ask what's your centimeters per 360 turn. So this is basically universal and it factors in your DPI and your in-game sense for that game. And then no matter what game you're playing, it'll give like the correct centimeters, which is, I guess, if that makes sense. It Either way, it's the universal way of determining sensitivity for any game. So usually... Uh, like Aimer7 would say don't play anything higher than 40 centimeters. I know this isn't like a tutorial on that right now, but I mean just in case you guys are curious uh, I mean here's mine uh, Usually I try to play between 40 and like 30 25 ish and Basically how this works is the lower that your centimeters is is basically the higher that your sensitivity is because this is centimeters per 360 turn so basically, I'd have to move my mouse 32.66 centimeters to do one complete 360 turn. So if you think about it, the less centimeters is the more sensitivity. So it's kind of opposite and kind of weird. But I mean, if you think about it, it definitely makes sense. And same with higher. Higher would be lower sensitivity. Higher centimeters, lower sensitivity. But um, yeah, that's about it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you in another video tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah, peace out.